I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very important question from test point of view. Show that the derivative of f of x equals to absolute x at x equals to 0 does not exist. Now to show this let us first look into the function itself. When we say derivative we are looking for rate of change at that point or slope at that given point. right? So absolute x is a function which is equals to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and is minus of x when x is less than 0. So that is the absolute value of x. right? So this is the function f of x we are talking about. So that is the x-axis. Now we need to figure out whether the derivative exists at 0 or not. So you see it is a corner. So at 0 we have a corner. As we had seen in other examples, at corner derivatives do not exist. So derivative do not, let me write, do not exist at corner. Now it is a time to prove it also. As you can see, if I start making tangents, we know if I am approaching from the right side, then the tangent slope is plus 1. Do you see? That is the slope of the tangent. But if I am approaching from the left side, the slope of the tangent is minus 1. Now, since this slope is not the same as we approach 0 from both the sides, we say that the derivative is not existing or it is not differentiable at, at 0, right? So we say that the limit of uh, delta y over delta x as, as x approaches 0 does not exist. So as we are approaching, uh, as x approaches 0, the limit of delta y over delta x, uh, I should say when delta x approaches 0 at, at x equals to 0, does not exist since from left side and from right side it is minus 1 from the left side and plus 1 from the right side and therefore we say uh, since this limit does not exist this this limit will say is not defined limit it does not exist does not exist right therefore we say that the tangent does not exist now what we will do now is prove it algebraically using the definition of derivative. So what we know is that the derivative of a function at any point could be found by limit h approaches 0 for f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So that is how we define derivative at a given point. Now, if the point is x equals to 0, let's say x equals to 0 is the point, in that case, the derivative at 0 is equals to limit h approaches 0, f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 over h, right? Now, the function is absolute x, so we can write this as limit h approaches 0, 0 plus h for absolute x will be absolute h minus f of 0 for absolute x is going to be absolute value of 0 divided by h, right? So that gives us limit h approaches 0 of absolute h over h. So that is the expression which we get for the derivative at x equals to 0, right? Now, clearly, if, let's, let's do it on the right side, we can say that if, if we are approaching from the positive side, that means if h is greater than 0, right? So, so we have two conditions, h is, let us say, if we are approaching from the right side, that means if h is slightly greater than 0, in that case, absolute value of h is equals to h, right? That is how this is defined. However, if h is less than 0, in that case, absolute h is equals to minus of h, correct? Since, you know, how to define this variable, absolute expression absolute h, 
absolute h is equals to h when when x is greater than or equal to 0 and is equals to minus of h when x is less than 0. That's what I'm trying to write here, right? So I hope that point is clear. So depending on whether we are approaching from the left side or from the right side, the limits are going to be different, right? So now we can write down that f dash x, since I have less, less space here, f dash 0, uh, we can find the limit from both left and right side. So it could be equals to limit h approaches 0 from the negative side. If it is from the negative side, then I have to write absolute h as minus h. So I get minus h over h. Do you see that? And that is equals to limit h approaches 0 from negative side of minus 1. Do you see that? And the constant limit will be minus 1. However, if I am approaching from the positive side, then, then the derivative will be limit. As h approaches 0 from the positive side will be h over h, which is limit. h approaches 0 from positive side will be 1, and that is equals to plus 1. As you can see, that these two limits are different, right? These two limits are not same, and therefore, since these two limits are not same, we say that the limit of this particular function does not exist, right? So we say since left and right side limit are not same, the derivative f dash 0 does not exist. Do you see that? So that is how you can actually prove it. So it's very important to understand that in case of absolute functions, we need to analyze as we approach from both the sides for the given point, right? So that is kind of very important. I hope this point is well taken. Thank you and all the best.